Tensions are always high on MTV's The Challenge, but when you add hookups and love triangles in the mix, they grow higher and hotter. The super trailer for The Challenge 37, Spies, Lies, and Allies was released, and jaw-dropping hookups and showmances were revealed. What? Like, is this really happening? The rookies weren't the only ones getting hot and heavy, as some vets were seen involved in possible love romances. Who's going to get too caught up in the love fest, and who's just playing one big game? Let's break down all that we know so far. The Love Triangle Two's company but three people involved in a reality television romance is trouble. Are you the one vet? Nelson Thomas looks like he not only has trouble separating business with pleasure, but also seems to have a problem separating both love interests. During a group night out, Nelson and vet Ashley Mitchell look cozy at a club, while Nelson tells her that he doesn't like her for the way she looks, but the way that she is. Multiple clips flash of Nelson and Ashley kissing, and her sitting on his lap while they both look pretty happy together. Looks like he saw someone else in the house for the way she looks. As later in the trailer, Nelson is seen kissing rookie Berna Kandeldeck. Challenges clearly arise between the three-way love fest, as a possibly intoxicated Ashley is seen telling Nelson, go with your damn girlfriend. Nelson is no stranger to getting cozy and seeming to have intense chemistry with other competitors on the show. After filming the last season of The Challenge, he and fellow contestant Amber spent a vacation together in the Turks and Caicos. The two uploaded videos of their trip to their Instagram lives and stories, and fans were convinced that romance was sparking between the two. It's clearly no secret that Nelson mixes business with pleasure. From the looks of their social media accounts, it seems like Nelson and Berna are the two to stay close together. Nelson and Ashley both follow each other on Instagram, but don't interact with each other's posts. Nelson commented fire and hand-praising emojis under a recent picture of Berna on her Instagram feed, and she responded with a rose emoji? Does this mean there might be a romance developing after filming? Well, at least we know what's true for this next duo. Nanny and Casey Nanny Gonzalez and Casey Clark were seen sharing a passionate kiss in the trailer. Nanny has had relationships and flirtationships with fellow cast members in the past. She and Johnny Bananas sparked a flame and entered a relationship that was strictly platonic. After hooking up, Nanny and Bananas were paired as exes on the challenge, Battle of the Exes 2. This couple is juicy because the two have been seen flirting in past seasons. Casey was in a relationship during those times, so nothing ever went further than just the obvious flirting. However, Casey's ex-girlfriend Taylor must not have approved of the on-camera flirting. The two have since broken up and Nanny is the main reason for the split. Did that make room for Nanny and Casey's love story to flourish? Apparently so! After the trailer was released, Nanny and Casey confirmed their relationship. Although Casey's Instagram account is private, Nanny's is public and she posts often to her story. Nanny recently confirmed their relationship on Instagram with a couple of selfies of the two with the caption saying, Magnetic. The Challenge star Weston Bergman commented under the post saying, This might be the first love story to blossom in a bunker. Casey's ex Taylor made her social media presence known just weeks after the Challenge stars confirmed their romantic relationship. She posted a selfie on her Instagram story with text saying, It's been a minute. After making their relationship public, Nanny posted that she and Casey were off to visit Dallas, Texas. Nancy posted a video of Casey playing a stuffed animal claw grab game. Nancy giggled behind the camera and even called Casey her little big kid. Casey actually won her a stuffed animal. Hopefully she also wins the $1 million cash prize too. Emmanuel and Michelle while some on-camera hookups are genuine and make it out into the real world, some may be all for show or comfortability. Survivor vets Emmanuel and Michelle were seen in the trailer smiling while sharing a kiss. Michelle competed on Survivor and was voted the winner of the 32nd season. Emmanuel was close to being crowned the winner but came up short as he became the runner-up for Survivor Romania. While the kiss was showing, the voice of another competitor said, Michelle and Emmanuel are two survivor beasts and that's dangerous. A royalty survivor couple on the challenge? Iconic. I am the wolf in sheep's clothing. But the truth is, is that I know exactly what I'm doing. However, the smooch didn't give off romantic vibes like some of the others that were shown. Was it just a heat of the moment peck? Or is there a thick plot behind it? Maybe the two already made an alliance early on in the game, but wanted to cover it up to make it look romantic? 
It's also possible that the kiss was genuine, but all romantic feelings and actions left after it happened. Michelle posted a still shot of herself with a shocked face while promoting the trailer. Her witty caption said, When the challenge MTV Super Trailer drops before I even had my morning coffee. Guesses are, even she was shocked that her hookup with Emmanuel made the trailer. One person who was definitely shocked was her mother. Michelle posted to her Instagram story a screenshot of a group text with her mother and Survivor 39 alum, Chelsea Walker. Michelle's mom sent a screenshot of Emmanuel and Michelle's kiss in the group. And Michelle and Chelsea laughed about it. Her mom claimed that her daughter's kiss was a shock to Michelle's family too, which means that nothing romantic came out of the peck. Amanda and Fessy. Now here's a potential challenge couple that we ship, or that could be also super toxic. Same thing though, right? Amanda is a self-proclaimed pop-up queen. Even though she has starred in five seasons of the challenge, she made her reality TV debut on Are You The One? So even though she has a wild temper, she wants to find love deep down. She is one tough chick, and would make a great couple with the man who made it to the challenge finals twice, and who is a natural-born athletic god. Maybe even someone who competed on both American Ninja Warrior and Big Brother? Yes, we're talking about Macho Man Fessy. In the super trailer, Fessy and Amanda are seen kissing, and she tells him, It feels good to be bad though, right? Come to the dark side. <laughs> what a typical Amanda quote. Iconic. Even if it may have been just for a moment in time, Fessy definitely got put under the bad girl spell of Amanda. On one of Amanda's recent Instagram posts, Fessy commented a crown under her picture. That's not the only comment though, folks. Amanda posted a picture of herself at the Challenge Aftermath set, and Fessy made sure to compliment her in the comments, saying, sheesh. The comments just keep on coming. Amanda posted a spicy mirror picture of her wearing a bikini, and Fessy, clearly being a man of few words, commented, oh. Maybe Amanda isn't as into Fessy as he is into her, because the only picture she commented of his was on his post of the trailer, and she just commented her flirty, it feels good to be bad though, right? With an added fire and flirty emojis, of course. Amanda is a single mother, and Fessy's a boxer who's currently fighting, so to say that the two have busy schedules is an understatement. Maybe once their schedules slow down, a romance could blossom between this power couple. Either way, they would complement each other very well, and it will be a treat to see them get cozy on this season of The Challenge. Out of all the hookups shown in the premiere, it's safe to say that some of them are genuine, like Nanny and Casey's kiss, while others may have been tactically driven, like Emmanuel and Michelle's kiss. Which hookups do you think were part of a grand scheme to win the cash prize? And which ones do you think are genuine? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to The Things Reality.